welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to take you through my favourite orange blossom perfumes. If you're new here then welcome, welcome to my channel, it's all about perfumes. I have hundreds and hundreds of perfume videos so do check them out and leave your requests down below for different videos you'd like. I love doing these videos all about a particular fragrance note, I do range reviews of the whole, a whole perfume range and all its flankers so and I'm trying to post as often as I possibly can. Um, at the moment we're in coronavirus lockdown so I'm posting every day to try and keep you guys entertained. So Orange Blossom is a perfume note um, that you guys have mentioned quite a few times asking for a video on. It's one of my personal favourite perfume notes so I definitely um, have been wanting to do this video for a while and yeah it's just really beautiful. If you're from Florida, hello, orange blossom is your state flower if you didn't know and I think it's the kind of thing that's often in like bridal bouquets, it's very beautiful, um, I think associated with luck as well, like a lucky smell, lucky um, flower. I have seen orange blossom used in cooking quite a bit um, as like an essence of flavouring but it is used in a lot of perfumes as well and has been for a long time. You can even get orange blossom honey actually, which is where the honey is made by bees that live amongst the orange blossom, so they pollinated that. I've, I've tried that and it is really nice. So anyway, let's get into the perfumes, and as always I'll put links down below to where you can get these, um, US, UK, Europe, etc. So first of all, and definitely the first thing that comes to mind when I think of orange blossom is... Ellie Saab's Le Parfum, the original. I love Ellie Saab, you guys know I love Ellie Saab. It is a beautiful, sparkling, mmm, orange blossom bouquet. It does smell of orange, but then it has this other worldly, sparkling kind of, yeah, it's definitely floral but it's a sparkling floral. It's not, it's not like a bouquet of flowers. Mm, it, it's beautiful guys, I love this fragrance, it's so nice and how cute is the bottle, this is the 30ml super cute, I love this, like it's really sturdy and you know it's the kind of fragrance that someone very nice has, very classy, beautiful fragrance, I spray this a lot when I'm travelling, I find it very comforting on aeroplanes and um, it's lovely for daytime and nighttime. it's good for work, very classy, um, just I can't recommend it enough basically. <laughs> it has a bit of honey in, it has a bit of jasmine and it has a bit of patchouli in. The patchouli really comes through after a few hours and helps it last. I think the honey gives it that warm comforting vibe. And then the jasmine, I don't smell too much, I'm not a huge jasmine fan, um, so I don't get it too much though, it's more... Yes, mm, it's more the orange blossom, it's so nice. And the lovely body products that go with this are beautiful as well. For the summer, the Eau de Toilette version is a really nice option. It, it smells quite similar with the orange blossom, but it has a lighter vibe to it. It has um, the honey in again, but again, it's just there as a comforting factor. And rather than the jasmine and the patchouli, it has gardenia, which is very airy, fresh type of perfume note. So it makes it very light. Um, yeah, and you could even mix them, layer them, or perhaps have the eau de toilette as a top up during the day, you know, whatever. But they're both beautiful. And all the flankers of Ellie Sarbar as well, actually. I've done a whole video on them. Another quite famous orange blossom perfume, um, I guess quite famous, not that famous, is Lancome's Eau de l'Orangerie. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. This again is orange blossom with a jasmine undertone but it also has like orange and citrus notes in. Very very fresh, kind of like a citrusy green tea almost, the kind of thing that you would just spray when you just want something uplifting. It's quite light. You know all the branding is very like summertime, very fresh, light, outside in the garden. Um, but this is definitely one of those and um, not that common so something a bit different than other people would have. Jo Malone London of course has their orange blossom perfume. This has clementine in so again it's orange blossom but with orangey cle well, clementine notes. It also has lilac in here a little bit and a little bit of a sort of green undertone. I don't find this particularly good for lasting, I'm afraid. I would much rather have Ellie Saab than this, but it is a very nice, very orangey, fresh perfume. 
Another really good orange blossom perfume is Hugo Boss Orange. This is something that you do smell on people. The Eau de Toilette is orange blossom, but then it has these like red apple and vanilla undertones. So it has a sweetness to it and a, yeah, vanilla-iness to it, which helps it linger and last and makes it a little bit interesting and like a candied orange blossom smell, slightly sweet. Um, I do really like this. I also like the Eau de Parfum, which I think doesn't have orange blossom in, but it is quite good for lasting the Eau de Parfum version. Anik Gutel in their alcohol-free range have this perfume called, I think it's Lille Tea or something. It has tea in it and orange blossom and orangey notes, very orangey. I find these ones without alcohol in interesting. I'm not sure how well they are for lasting really, but again, maybe they're not meant to be like that. They are very fresh in this range. So let me know if you've tried these and what you think of them. They're very interesting, like a neutral type of perfume that doesn't have alcohol in, right? This one also has a musky undertone if you like musk. So orange blossom is in here, but it, it, it is not drowned, but you know, it's really there with more citrusy notes and more like true orange notes. In the Mugler Cologne range, so this is the ones that are all really bright colours, they have a orange one, which is orange blossom, and then it has some kind of aromatic herbal undertone with an ingredient called Shizo. So it is mainly orange blossom, but these ones in this range do have this, um, not woody, but almost herbal element to them. So they're quite different and unusual, and they are colognes, of course, so they're quite low percentage of perfume oils, so you spray a lot of them, that's the idea, rather than an eau de parfum, rather than the other Muggler perfumes like Aglian and Angel, which are super heavy. These are more like to be sprayed um, generously. Coco Mademoiselle. Coco Mademoiselle is a big orange blossom perfume and in that sense it reminds me of Ellie Saab. I often recommend this for people that like, if you like Coco Mademoiselle but they find it too expensive, I often recommend Ellie Saab as an alternative because they both have that orangey orange blossom sparkling classy note to them. But then Coco Mademoiselle of course has its patchouli and its roses and a lot of other things going on whereas Ellie Saab has orange blossom more as the star of the show and I think that's why I prefer it. In the Maison de Christian Dior line there is Terra Bella. This is a very green, um, almost herbally, outsidey orange blossom with cypress notes in. So that cypress reminds me very much of a Mediterranean climate, like south of France, like herbally notes in the air, and then orange blossom. These Maison de Christian Dior perfumes are so expensive and to be honest, aren't amazing for lasting. So again, you know, if you like it, go for it, but it's not the top orange blossom that I'd re recommend at all. And one thing to throw in here, of course, is the new Jean-Paul Gaultier Cabaret in their Classique range. This is the one in the red sparkly outfit. Very, very cool bottle. This is like a ginger and orange blossom, so a zesty one. It does have that signature vanilla Classique note underneath, but it's much lighter than original Jean-Paul Gaultier Classique because of the cherry blossom. Um, cherry blossom orange blossom fresh and, the, and that zest of ginger at the beginning as well so if you're looking for something with a little bit more depth to it with that vanilla if you like Jean Paul Gaultier then this is a nice sort of middle perfume or perhaps you wear classique in the winter and then you could switch to this in the summertime for something a bit lighter and I love the bottle I think it's my favorite bottle from the range so far because it's sparkly <laughs> And of course we must uh, mention Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria range again. Their Mandarin Basilique is a orange mandarin basil and orange blossom note. So it is more of an orange and a bitter orange and it is more green, minty, basil-y, herbally, but then there is orange blossom in here as well so I thought I'd throw it in. So that's it guys, let me know which your favourite is, do you love Ellie Saab like me, what's your favourite orange blossom, perhaps you didn't even realise orange blossom was such a like frequently used note, um, so do let me know in the comments down below and keep your requests coming for new videos, but that's it guys, so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video, bye for now.